Good morning and welcome back to the vlog. Um, we are leaving Las Vegas and heading to Arizona. It is, <clears throat> excuse me, my throat is a little bit rough this morning. It's 20 past seven. We've got a four or five hour drive to Phoenix, uh, Tempe uh, in Phoenix. So we're gonna get checked out now, jump in the car, and head over to Phoenix. We're basically, for the next three days, I'm not sure how many vlogs there'll be. It might be one a day, it might not be. Um, we've got three three days in Phoenix, Flagstaff, and Sedona. Uh, and we're watching Chris Stapleton in concert at a festival tonight, so that's gonna be good. So uh, I'll keep this short and sweet, short and sweet, short and sweet, and I'll pick it up on the way to Phoenix. All right, we're all checked out of Nomad. Uh, our bill came to $26 for Emily. Uh, mine was about 200, so in total $226 for four great days of uh, food and drink. You just can't beat it really, can you? Um, so we're on our way to Phoenix. Like I said, it's gonna be about a five hour drive in total. We're stopping at a place called Lucia's, which is a little famous restaurant and gift shop. Um, it's just past uh, Kingsman in Arizona. Just looking at the map now, it's 157 miles and it's expected to take two hours, 23 minutes. So we'll be arriving at 10 a.m. So we'll manage to get breakfast, brunch there. Um, so yeah, looking forward to getting on the road. Uh, I have to say I'm quite, I'm kind of feeling not glad to leave Las Vegas, but I'm looking forward to a few days break um, before obviously coming back and getting some fresh air. Um, and I'm looking forward to actually testing out this Cadillac because I'm considering potentially getting one in Dubai. Uh, for my everyday car. So looking forward to getting it out on the road and doing a couple of hundred miles. All right, I'll pick it up when we see something uh, noteworthy or when we get to the restaurant. driving and they get behind a truck with pipes have uh, again dreams of well not dreams nightmares of final destination get out of the way i want to get a pasture before and pipes come through and takes me head off All right, uh, we made it to Lucia's in Arizona. Uh, it's in Wikiup. Um, I think it's about two hours from Phoenix. Uh, this place is quite a famous little stop on the side of the interstate or the highway. Um, it's got a restaurant and a little uh, shopping area. It's got four point, I think 4.6 or 4.7 stars. Um, it's quite a famous little stop. Just does sandwiches, burgers, salads, and all that kind of stuff. So. We're gonna go in, it looks pretty quiet now because it's only 11 a.m. Um, get some food, have a rest, a rest, a refresh, sorry, restroom break, and then get back on the road.
Happy bunny, she got a lemon pie. Emily's terrified because she saw that sign that says rattlesnakes beware and there's a uh, pheasants and not pheasants, I keep saying pheasants, peacocks in here. We're gonna have a little walk around the garden. Gotta say the meal was absolutely lovely. It was so nice just to have like a home cooked style meal, just simple food. Emily ate her BRT sandwich quicker than I had my club sandwich, which is probably a first that Emily finishes a meal before me. So yeah, this is a nice little stop. It's literally directly halfway between Vegas and Phoenix. The nice little garden, cafe, just does very simple food. Um, but it's a nice place to come, stretch your legs. They do some amazing pies. Emily got a, a, a lemon cream pie, which we'll have once she gets to uh, Phoenix. I'm on the hunt. It's a uh, peacock somewhere around here. And there we have it, peacock. And it looks like they've got uh, pigs or boar. I'm not sure if it's a boar or a pig. Looks like a pig. Pigs and boars look the same though to me. Just going right over to where Emily is. It's gonna terrify her. Shall we see if we can herd the peacock to Emily? <laughs> Emily's running off. <laughs> I can see Emily in the corner running away. <laughs> It's only a peacock, she's terrified of it. All right, uh, so we are just about to leave Lucia's. We've got 155 miles to go, another two and a half hours. We'll have us getting into Tempe at 2.15, uh, just in time to check into our little Airbnb. So again, I'll pick it up if there's anything interesting on route. Otherwise, I'll see you in Tempe. I just made a quick stop to fill up with petrol, gas, and we are heading into my favorite place, Dairy Queen. Time for a mint top chip blizzard. That worries me when they do that. And one day it's just gonna go bloop. <laughs> so we're just eating our uh, Dairy Queen ice cream in the car at the petrol station. It's packed here. A lot of um, lot of ranchers here. Lots of uh, cattle and horses in the carts, the trucks. I was just saying to Emily, I think um, I think if I was gonna live in the US, I think I'd have to live in Texas. Um, one because I want a ranch. I can wear a cowboy hat and cowboy boots a lot. Um, well, I think it's a perfect location, really. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a perfect location, really. It's, um, <laughs> Emily's laughing because she keeps breathing. So she's, every time she breathes, it's like a whistle, through her nose, it's like a whistle. <laughs> and I'm trying to film this and all you can hear is <laughs> <laughs> So um, that's why she's laughing. Cause this is like the fourth take that I've done. <laughs> there was all these, all these old people in front of Dairy Queen staring at us like, what are they doing? Um, so yeah, Texas is a perfect location. It's like a two hour flight to Las Vegas, which is one of our favorite places. It's about a two hour flight, or you can drive to Orlando from there. Um, that's one of Emily's favorite places. Um, they love their steak. Um, what were the other good reasons? I can't remember now. Oh yeah, and more importantly, you've got Bucky's um, and you've got Whataburger. <laughs> Where are they that for? So um, yeah, I think if I was to live anywhere in, uh, in America, it would be in Texas. So we arrived at the Airbnb. So I'll uh, take you in and show you around. Phoenix is absolutely packed at the moment because it's obviously, I believe it's winter baseball training. Um, so all the baseball teams are here for winter training. So we had this little um, like uh, small bed sit place just for two nights while we're here. Obviously we're going straight to the concert tonight and then we're out all day tomorrow so we just wanted something small and simple and uh, easy access to the concert so it's just a one bed it's obviously a converted garage carport stroke thing but nice big um looks like a super king bed 
there's a little kitchenette, fridge, plenty of um, cups, saucers, glasses, nice little seating area. Let's back out into the garden outside. And then just a small little bathroom with shower. It's only very small, but it's well appointed. The owner of this is an interior designer. She's got four or five different properties. There is a main house um, attached to this property, which is also an Airbnb, but it's a four bedroom house. Um, this has cost us about $550 for two nights. We were looking at the hotels and we wanted to stay in a couple of the nice hotels, but to be honest, you were looking at about $4,000 for two nights. Uh, I refuse to pay that. <laughs> So, um, yeah, it's a nice little small space. We're going to get unpacked, um, have a bit of a rest, chill out, watch a couple of vlogs, and then we'll get the Metro down into Tempe for the concert. We did actually pass the concert site on our way in. It's looking busy already. I think El King will be uh, going on stage any minute. So I'll pick up the vlog once we get on our way. All right, a little free fruit. We're just, um, we've just left the Airbnb. We are walking down to the main road and we're gonna catch the uh, Phoenix Metro system. It's $4 for a day ticket, which is a bargain. So we're gonna grab that, head down into downtown Temp, try and get some dinner somewhere. It's a Friday night, Chris Stapleton and this, uh, obviously this concert are on. So it's gonna be busy. Have some food, have a couple of drinks, get the tickets and then make our way into the concert, so uh, I'll pick it up when we get down there. All right, so it's literally just a five minute walk from the Airbnb. Um, absolutely, the weather is absolutely perfect. It's gotta be, I said, mid twenties, no wind. It's lovely. All right, made it into downtown Tempe and it is absolutely packed, it's buzzing. Full of concert goers, students, uh, residents, tourists. So uh, we're going to try and find somewhere to eat, which might be uh, might be a little bit more difficult than expected. All the bars and restaurants are packed. It's full, absolutely full. <laughs> Country music on in all the bars. Everyone's wearing cowboy hats and cowboy boots. Me and Emily are the most uncountry people here. <laughs> So we managed to find a restaurant where it's the Sasquatch Lodge. I'm not sure we're even going to be able to hear this or pick it up. We went to the culinary dropout and there was a one and a half hour to a two hour wait for a table. Um, so yeah, we've got it here. It's busy, but we managed to get a table at the bar. I am drinking shilling hard cider and local legends. So it's actually quite nice on American cider, gotta say. Uh, and Emily has been ordering an order day course for And we've ordered uh, two burgers. Actually, we had two burgers yesterday. I told you I like a burger. Um, but one is a jalapeno burger, and one is a... Oh no, we ordered a, uh, yeah, sorry. One burger and one cabano. Um, more sandwiches, more burgers. More sandwiches. 
more burger, more passion, more energy, more sound, more burgers. All right, just finished in a Sasquatch kitchen or lodge. Um, and really nice food actually. Um, decent burger. It was uh, meat blended with jalapeno. It was a really, really nice burger. Um, Cabano was, was okay, but the yeah, burger was the star of the show. So just had a couple of drinks, a couple of ciders for me, uh, and we are literally gonna head over, just over here, for um, to watch Chris Stapleton and go to Innings Festival. So. I think the Troubadours are on now until for the next hour, and then Chris Stapleton's on about half nine. So uh, we'll make our way over. Not sure if I'm gonna be able to vlog a huge amount. I'll just be showing some clips of the concert, but obviously it's gonna be very, very loud. Um, so yeah, this might be the last time you see me for a few hours. I'll, uh, I'll do a quick recap at the end of the night. as we can at the time that we have. And with that in mind, here's one called Starting Over.
Shut up, man. This is uh, this is the one that kicked it all off for us. It goes like this.
yes it is. But when you pour out your heart, it didn't waste it. No, no, no. There's nothing like your love. on green We've just finished in uh, Chris Stapleton you can see all the um, coppers behind us we we uh, really really amazing concert um, we got the Metro literally we legged it out of the concert as soon as he finished with um, Tennessee whiskey absolutely amazing man that guy he he sounds exactly like he does on I was gonna say a CD but we haven't listened to CDs for about 15 years on your iPhone, Apple Music, whatever you listen to. Absolutely incredible. We got the Metro out three stops to um, our stop. And as you can see, there was two, uh, two coppers, two police at the junction. And normally everyone would have just barged across the road. There's no, there's no, there's no traffic. And everyone walked up and just stood there waiting for the light to turn green. And we're all out, everyone was like, none of us are gonna jaywalk. Can't jaywalk. Um, but no, yeah, I've got to say, so far I'm impressed with uh, Tempe. Obviously, we've only seen Tempe, or Tempe, whatever it's called. Nice little uh, town, nice atmosphere, lots of really good bars, good drinks, good food. People seem friendly, amazing concert, no issues whatsoever. Very, very busy. But yeah, a really good, enjoyable day. Nice to get out of, uh, to be honest, nice to get out of Vegas and uh, get some fresh air beautiful temperature as well um god you can tell i'm british can't you look what the temperature oh, the temperature is bloody lovely uh anyway oh yeah my gelée didn't go down well with the country folk gotta say uh, i did to be fair i wanted to wear my cowboy boots well they're not cowboy boots but my boots my jeans turn your lights on mate you've not got any lights on oh you're a copper you're all right uh oh it's pulling me over um I wanted to wear my cowboy boots or my boots, my jeans, and my uh, my kind of like what's it called, like my tartan shirt that I wore in Red Rock. And it's a good job I didn't, because it seems like that's the go-to outfit for any man that likes country, or just any man in America. Literally, 95% of the people at the concert were wearing brown cowboy boots, jeans, and a tartan shirt. But Emily would have had absolutely zero hope of finding me in the crowd had I worn what I wanted to. I wear I wore a gilet because she said it would be cold. And uh, two women walked past me and went, oh my God, is he serious? And pointed straight at me. So <laughs> obviously uh, gilets don't go down with the country folk. Oh well, shit happens. Anyway, a few drinks have been had, nearly home. I will do, well, I'm not gonna do a recap because there's no point, we're not gambling. Uh, yeah. We'll pick up the vlog tomorrow where we're going to potter around Phoenix and Scottsdale. All right, adios. Mm -hmm.